How's it going everybody? It's Jimmy Perrier from powerlifting.website, your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information. And today I'm here to do another deadlift FAQ. Um, but before we get into that, don't forget to check out the Black Book of Powerlifting. Check out the new store that we opened on the site and follow me and the business on social media platforms. Links to all of those things will be in the description of the video. And also check out the article. That link will be in the description of the video as well. Um, now let's get right into it. I'll answer four questions i'm gonna just say four now because it's four questions i'm sorry for all of this i'm tired it's like 6 30 and 6 25 in the morning and i haven't been to sleep well i got like a 40 minute nap that uh a few hours ago but yeah i'm tired as shit right now i'm not gonna lie to you but it's okay because i drank a red bull so i'm not going to sleep so but first question is are rest days important in your workout for mass gain of course you need to rest in order to allow your body or your muscle fibers whatever the fuck to recover and it also it's important for strength gains too because you fuck up your central nervous system. I'm cursing a lot, but don't listen to it if you don't like cursing. It's, that's me. But yeah, you're going to mess up your central nervous system. Well, you're just going uh, to gonna get like the symptoms of overtraining. I've done that. Like when you don't do, you just get some sleep. Uh, next question is, what helped you master mind and muscle connection? What the fuck? Terrible. Never mind. Sorry. Don't. No questions. Bad questions. Just bad wording. Um. I'm. I guess lifting heavy weights when controlling descent and ascent on lift on heavy movements required me to get um understanding the mind muscle connection. Also doing bodybuilding uh, training also as well. Like when I first started out, I wanted to be a bodybuilder, so that gave me that helped me get some type of mind muscle connection as well. Um, next question is, what is an average amount of weight someone should be able to deadlift um, weighing 250 and have been working for a year? A good number would be two times their own body weight. If you're 250 pounds, you should be deadlifting 500 pounds. If you're serious about it, that's an inter well, not intermediate, but like you put a fair amount of time into it. Um, last question is, are de or not last, but the next question is, are deadlifts really the super exercise? Well, compared to other movements, yes, because they work so many uh, muscle groups. And then I also put a link to like an article in there that talks about why that list that details the benefits of the deadlift. Now, next question would be for general strength training: Should I do squats for one week and then deadlift the next, or keep squatting one session and then deadlift next? Uh, what the fuck? All right. So basically, do you want to split up your movements? Now. I'm going to say yes, you want to split up your movements. Personally, I do deadlifts one day and then give it another day or two and then do squats and then give it another day or two and then do or a day and then do bench press and then give it a day and do start it all over again. Um, because I don't want to burn myself out and that's pretty much it. Don't forget to check out the art or the page and if you like this video, don't give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this in the future and you'll hear from me next time. Peace.